Hi, I'm Dr. Hart, and I'm going to be treating Lucina for her back pain and her neck pain. So we're going to start by doing a little bit of trigger point release. is great for treating whiplash. She was in a car accident earlier this year. because people freak out but <laughs> you know what I mean if they think it's like three they're like oh okay <laughs> oh that's okay I'm gonna do yours kind of goes into here right as well mm -hmm. in your scalings I feel like my upper traps are really bad too because of finals week <laughs> mm. Yeah, I guess actually this one right here got a little bit of action in that one. So I'm releasing the muscle that's pinching the nerve, which oftentimes when people get tingling into their arms, uh, the muscle's really tight. So using this trigger point release, it forces the muscle to release the tension that it's holding, gives enormous amount of relief. How's your kind of mid back? I didn't really do through here, but that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints. Okay. So acupuncture increases blood flow to an area that might be injured and it initiates the body's own healing mechanisms. It also releases what are called enkephalins, your body's natural painkillers that are anywhere from six to 10 times stronger than morphine. I'm gonna go see another patient right now and then when I come back, we can do the cupping. Nothing so exciting with removing the needles. <laughs> Cupping helps to break up muscle tension. It gets in between the muscle, the fascia, and the skin layer, creating space. It also works to flush the lymphatic system for detox. It feels kind of like a massage. So I'm going against the muscle fibers to really help to break up the tension.
to do, I'm going to put them all on one more time. I'll do it really fast and just let them sit. So I think I should be able to get them to stick on your neck today because I have little ones. So this is what we call static cupping, where we just place the cups and let them sit. I like to do a combination of static as well as the dynamic or moving. Um, moving really helps to break up the muscle tension. As I was moving it earlier, you can really see you can break up the knots, go against the cross fibers of the muscles. And um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> a little bit of CBD cream on after like a little bit of massage. So I can do that. So most people are concerned about getting bruises from cupping. Um, the reason that you would get bruises is if it's in an area of pain or injury. If it's purple, that generally means somewhere where you've had an accident or there's pain. If it's red, it tends to be more inflammation. Actually, the more and more you do cupping, the less bruising there will be. And that's a sign of the muscles and the tissues being healthy and properly oxygenated. How does it feel after that cup was nice in there on your scalenes? <laughs>